Now in this tutorial we've got the integral of x times the square root of 3x minus 1. And when you have square roots like this we can make a substitution and that substitution can be u equals 3x minus 1 or u squared equals 3x minus 1. Now I have demonstrated u equals 3x minus 1 in an earlier tutorial so in this example I'm just going to take you through letting u squared equal 3x minus 1 and you can hopefully compare the difference. Now first of all we've got to differentiate this in the usual way with respect to x but unfortunately we've got a u squared here so what it requires is implicit differentiation so if we differentiate this with respect to x what we get is 2u du by dx and then differentiating the 3x minus 1 with respect to x gives simply 3 so that would mean that if we divide both sides now by 2u we would end up with du by dx equaling 3 over 2u and that would mean we want dx du and that would give dx by du as being 1 over du by dx 1 over 3 lots of 2u in other words 2u over 3. So now we're ready to make the substitution. So we write down our f of x which was x times the square root of 3x minus 1. So we have x root of 3x minus 1. All right. And then we have dx du which is 2u over 3. So 2u over 3 and then we have the du integrated with respect to u. We need to change the variable totally over to u's so the x okay in the usual way we need to make x the subject from here so we would have that x would equal u squared plus 1 divided by 3 so we have x equals u squared plus 1 all over 3 so I can replace the x then with u squared plus 1 over 3 and then for the root of 3x minus 1 that's going to be the square root of u squared now because we picked u squared as our substitution square rooting it is just going to simply be a u and then we have the 2u over 3 on the end here and the du. And notice that with this substitution we haven't got any awkward powers like to the power half that we had when we used the substitution u equal 3x minus 1. So although we had this awkward bit first of all, what it's resulted in is a nice integral here. Anyway, cleaning this up, what we have is 2 ninths okay that we can bring out the front of the integral 2 ninths times the integral okay and then we have a u squared for the u times u multiplied by u squared plus 1 du and to integrate this what I can now do is expand the bracket so we have 2 ninths of the integral of u to the power of 4 plus u squared. A couple of terms here so make sure we put that in brackets du and then we can integrate this so we have 2 ninths integrating u to the 4 add 1 to the power u to the 5 over 5 and divide by the new power here add 1 to the power u to the 3 divide by the new power and then we have plus c what we can do is put this all over a lowest common multiple of 5 and 3 so we have 15 and we can change this into 15 so times top and bottom by 3 would give us 3u to the power 5 over 15 and times 
top and bottom here by 5 and we would get 5u to the power 3 over 15. Close the bracket and don't forget the constant of integration. OK, let's just move this up. We're getting there now. So we have 2 ninths and on the top I can pull out a common factor of u to the power 3. So I can pull that out. I could also really multiply the 9 with the 15. 9 times 15 gives 135, so I could replace that 9 with 135. And then in the bracket, all I've got left is a 3, u squared. OK, so that will give me the 6u to the power 5 there, 6u to the power 5. And then we want to put in simply a 5 there, so we get 10u cubed, which would be the result of that bit there, 2 times 5u cubed, 10u cubed, and then plus c. OK, we're nearly there now, so we have all, all that we have left to do is just replace the u's with our value up here. We have u squared is 3x minus 1. Ah, we have a slight problem here because we've got a u cubed. But it's not really a problem, is it? I mean, u is going to be equal to the square root of 3x minus 1. So that would be 3x minus 1 to the power of half. And if we now cube this, we would therefore have u cubed would be equal to 3x minus 1 to the power 3 over 2. So I can uh, pop this in here as being two lots of 3x minus 1 to the power 3 over 2 and that's all over 135. And then in here, put a square bracket, we've got three lots of u squared and u squared was 3x minus 1 so we've got three lots of 3x minus 1 and then the plus 5, and not forgetting the plus c. I could expand this bracket out at this stage, and then I get 3 lots of 3x, which is going to be 9x, and then 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 plus 5, is going to give me 2. So all of this is then going to turn into 9x plus 2. So I'll just rub that out and I might as well put 9x plus 2 in there and I could change those square brackets to curve brackets and then put the plus c on the end. Alright, 